Good morning all. Apologies for that lacklustre attempt just then. Long Covid comes and goes, therefore I'm puffed out one minute and not the next. And this demands, well, a proper walk around and a proper look at. Because it's the first electric vehicle on the pickup in the UK. So it's one of a kind, essentially. Well, at least at the moment. So the T90 EV by Maxus. And yes, Psyche. So we know who Psyche makes, uh, MG. Which would make sense, and you realise that this is actually a diesel truck, and it was called the MG Extender as well. Now, being the first electric pickup, well, it's got some, I suppose, parameters to set straight from the goal gate. Something along those lines. If I end up gibbering, you know why. Now, bottom line, ladder chassis, decent towing capability, but yes, it's not 4x4, but it is rear wheel drive. It'll tow up to, I think it's about 1500 kilos and carry a ton on the bed, but not simultaneously. Design style, well, chunky pickup, decent ride height. But yeah, I suppose the only thing that's going to let you down is the fact that it's got no 4x4. It's got a 220 mile range, and you get a five year warranty. And that's 100,000 miles. I think it's eight year on the battery as well. Full LED, parking sensors, reversing camera. It's all teched up to the nine, to be honest. Rather smart inside too. Decent big cabin. And there's the shifter. Yeah, very similar to the one we've seen before. Eh? Now these start at around 50,000. Because it's a commercial, you can claim your VAT back. So that's great news. We've got some accessories too, including the wind deflectors. And this beast that comes all the way around. So what we're going to be doing this week is doing a touch of off-roading. We'll also test the, uh, the what's um, the what it will carry on the bed essentially. So we're going to stuff it full of gravel, lawn mowers, that type of thing. See how it copes, because that's the one thing you want to know with an electric vehicle: how it's going to affect range when you stick a load in it. Decent space in the arches. And look, that's what makes it all work. So that's the lowest point of the vehicle. Apart from that, it's pretty capable. Full LED. So we've got this for the next week. So I suppose if you've got any challenges that you'd like us to attempt with it, please shout out. Our aim is to, as I said, test the capabilities of carrying and then find some off-road tracks. But because it's rear-wheel drive, it's not going to be quite as sure-footed as obviously 4x4. Now, because it's built essentially on the T90 Diesel's platform, it has this thing called a key. Take a look inside. Hi Antonio, how you doing? Yeah, it's very nice. And the fact that it's the first electric pickup in the UK. When we saw this at the CV show, I think it was a bit this time last year. Well, it was getting a lot of looks, but not surprising. And if I remember correctly, they actually had an Italian model. So that was really kind of throws you. So this one's just literally landed in the country. And it came in, I think it was last week. Right, I'll show you the powertrain, how it operates. Grab handles. Looks comfortable, doesn't it? So, 
I'm just used to putting keys in EVs. I think it's the second EV I've driven with a key. Come on. There we go. Okay. Put on the brake. And, okay, let's make sure the sound's down. Old school analog cluster. You can see it's been converted. So you've got your charge there, and your power. It's got decent regen. Driving modes, and that does things like regen in, as you'd expect in that kind of vehicle. We've got 90 miles of range, but the, if you've noticed, there's no paddles to override regen. Okay. Yeah, full of hard plastics, and it's robust. But that's what you want for a pickup. You know, the majority of owners aren't going to be taking them to car shows and showing off what they've got here. They, they want something they can chuck the butties on and the paperwork and just something that's dependable and solid build quality. The one thing you want in a pickup. Little fuel computer in the middle and we've got descent control here. Now, in case you're wondering what that is, that's for the four wheel drive system on the diesels. So yes, there will be a four-wheel drive coming at some point. That's all we know at the moment. So this is very similar to MG. Surprising that, being made by Psych. So, reverse neutral drive. Now the one thing I can't find, and I think it's because it isn't here, is a part button. Apart from that, yeah. Yeah, well that's it. It was LDV, now Maxxis. And if they're gonna be going down this route, well they've started out the right way. As I said, starts about 50 grand. But with a 220 mile range, that's not bad to be honest. And what I've noticed so far is it does mile for mile. Obviously that's empty with two in the cab. So what we will test is see how many miles you get per mile because I mean essentially it's guess a meter isn't it but currently mile for mile sounds pretty good because let's face it it's weight what? Be coming up to two ton I expect might even be a touch over so we've got this for the next seven days yeah 50k bits an electric vehicle I mean let's think when you're going to commercial vehicles, for a start, you step up anyway. But then when you put an electric powertrain in, you step up once again. It'd be all right if electric was a bit cheaper at the moment, but we've been looking into that and we're looking at switching to, I think it's Octopus, and they've got some EV tariffs. But I'll tell you about that in another video. But you can charge on like a Economy 7 type tariff from for four or five hours each, each night, which, well, it'll give you enough for a commute. No, oh, I really like this, but I did when I saw it at the CV show. It's commanding. It looks a proper beast. And yeah, it's got one heck of an electric noise. So you're not going to miss this coming. You've got your reversing camera here and some parking sensors. And look, things like on the D-Max, nice sturdy step. Now, Maxxis is certainly going the right way to tackle the electric vehicle market, especially when it comes to commercials. So, if you've got any questions, want to know anything about the vehicle, oh, walked into the garage door backwards. Well, leave them in the comments below. Also, if you're looking for something to watch over the next few days, we've got the Hyundai Bayon coming out, and no doubt you've seen the Grenadier video. But yeah. Set us some challenges and we'll see what we can do with this. Being the first electric pickup and one that we can actually, well, get our fingers dirty, is that the term? Get our boots muddy. We're definitely going to go on our normal green laning track and I don't think it'll have a problem, especially if we put a little bit of weight in the back. So there you have it. Thank you for joining me and have a great Saturday. Bye-bye.